Hello, good evening viewers. Welcome to this new session which is on which is on yes, yes. This is finding out the cutting length of a bent up bar. Okay. So, uh, I hope you already know what is a bent up bar. Because if you don't know what is a bent up, bent up bar, then it will be a problem. So, first of all, let me show you what is meant by a bent up bar. Look, this is a beam. This is a beam. Just imagine. Uh, you have to accept this because I am sitting in a hotel room and I don't have uh, my regular uh, regular facilities uh, from my office or uh, studio so please this, consider this as a beam okay this is the depth of beam this is the span of beam let us imagine for two minutes that that the span of the beam is five meters okay now if I ask you what is the cover of the beam then how much you will tell the cover of the beam is 25 mm okay now what we need to find out we want to find out the cutting length of the bent up bar so I will show you first this is the bent up bar you must have seen this bent up bar this is also called as cranked bar if someone asks you why a bent up bar is provided you have to tell that bent up bar especially the crank portion takes care of the diagonal tension diagonal shear in the beam okay this portion takes care of the diagonal shear okay now friends i am going to tell you how fast can you calculate the cutting length of the bent up bar only three steps first step you have to find out the cutting length of the straight bar now imagine this is a beam whose span is 5 meters so what will be the length of the straight bar which is provided in this beam so the bar will start somewhere here and this will continue like this and end here that is a straight bar okay so if you assume that it is a straight bar not a c bar okay remember if it is a straight bar then the beam span is 5000 mm cover we have to deduct from both the ends so 25 mm 25 mm so 5000 minus 25 gives you gives you 4950 okay so 4950 you have to remember keep it on one side okay now second what is the depth of the beam let us imagine that the depth of the beam is 500 mm that means this depth is 500 mm okay now from the top you have to deduct 25 mm from the bottom you have to deduct 25 mm okay so 500 minus 50 gives you 450 is it clear 450 is basically this distance if you see this beam this depth is 500 this is 25 mm this is 25 mm so this difference is 450 is it clear okay now what you do this 450 you have to multiply by 0 0.41 so 450 multiplied by 0 0.41 will give you how much 225 mm how much 450 multiplied by 0 0.41 gives you 225 mm okay now in one bar there are two cranks this portion is crank this portion is crank 
so how how much we found out 225 mm so 225 for this crank 225 for this crank together it becomes 450 okay so now this 450 we need to add into the cutting length of the straight bar how much that was yes that was 4950 so 4950 plus 450 gives you 5400 which means 5.4 meters. So if someone asks you what will be the cutting length of the bent up bar, if the beam length is 5000 mm, if the cover is 25 mm and the beam depth is 500 mm, then you have to tell with total confidence that look look gentlemen the bent up bar cutting length shall be 5400 mm got it now we will do a fast recap of what we learnt first thing we said that for for catering to the diagonal shear at the ends or at the supports we need to provide crank the bars that is first thing. So crank bar takes care of the diagonal tension, diagonal shear. It is also called as flexural reinforcement. Okay. Now how to calculate the cutting length of this bar that we just saw. What is cutting length after all? This length plus this length plus this length plus this length plus this length. Okay. So what we did first of all we found out the cutting length of the straight bar. So 5000 minus 25 on this side, 25 on this side gives you 4950. Keep it aside. Secondly, depth of the beam is 500 mm. 25 from the top, 25 from the bottom is 50 mm. 500 minus 50 gives you 450. Then what I said, you multiply this with a magic figure of 0.41. Don't ask me today what is the why this point 41 has come. I will just give you one small hint. This is attributed to Mr. Pythagoras. This much hint is sufficient for you. So what you do 450 multiplied by 0 0.41 gives you 225. Okay. So 225 for one crank plus another crank is 225 together it becomes 450. This 450 if you add into the straight bar cutting length of 4950 plus 450 this gives you 5400 or 5.4 meters. Okay guys so you understood now please practice it on 2-3 different beams. Take some length take some depth and calculate the cutting length of the bent up bars okay so thank you so much and i want to thank you have a special thanks to you for subscribing to my channel and those of you who have not yet subscribed please do it today itself after watching this video and if you like this video if you understood this concept then please press the like button and please share it to your friends, to your colleagues, to your office staff so that they also understand how to calculate the cutting length of the bent up bar. Okay, thank you so much. This is Santosh Kulkarni bringing you fundamentals of reinforcement bars. Thank you so much. We'll again meet next with some interesting session for you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye and take care.